Hey, 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 Gemini. All right, I am pulling tea cards this round. See if we can get some juicy gossip on you or whoever you're here to find out about. <laughs> Cock blocking, drama starter, and kissing ass. Something tells me you have a friend that isn't such a friend. <sighs> They're getting in your way of you and a potential love interest. Oh, what'd they do? What did they do? Ooh, and now they're kissing your ass. Um, <laughs> bye bye. What'd they do? Meddling in your business, meddling in your love business. <gasps> they did something absolutely cruel. Uh, They did something unforgivable. <clears throat> Ooh, unforgivable. And at the time, they felt so good about it. They felt so good doing something so bad to you. What a nasty. Whew. Tell me more. But guess what? It didn't work. You still got the prize anyway. You win. Well, that was the shortest story ever. Once upon a time, tower moment, and you win anyway. Um, and now you know who's your friend and who's not. And obviously this is not. Okay, let's find out about this. Wow. I'm seeing, out you go. All right, she probably, or he probably wanted whoever you ended up with. Sorry, sometimes I slip in she's and he's. It's masculine and feminine energy. It's just natural, right? When I see this, it's just a natural thing to say he. But this could be um, a girl. Bottom line is you got the prize. Actually, you are the prize, and this lucky one got you. You're the prize, this is you. All right, so what's happening here? Ooh. You are very comfortable in this situation. This whole thing, all my, you're a very logical person. You don't let emotion get in the way. That's why when your friend did what they did to try to block you from starting this relationship, like you didn't even let emotion get involved. You're like, really? Seriously? I, out. You're out. What's your name? Um, because you think logically. You know that getting mad, you know that starting a, a squabble like isn't going to do anything. Um, so off they go. And you're also being very logical about this new relationship. This feels really good. I like these two together. And we have the promise of a higher level of commitment here. Maybe moving in together, maybe marriage, maybe kids, whatever is next. And look at what you got right here. You trust your gut on everything. You're very, I, I get a very peaceful energy from you, Gemini. All right, so I think we see where this is going. Um, out of curiosity, a friend who turned out to be not a friend, what did they have to say? The dragonfly. Be lighthearted, 
finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Um, hopefully they learned a big lesson in this. I doubt it. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. Maybe. Hopefully. I mean, they're saying they are. That'll be interesting to see if they try to come back, if that's true. Um, or if they're just saying that that's true. All right, um, let's find out about this King of Pentacles. What does this King of Pentacles have to say about this new relationship with you? Or maybe it's not new, I don't know. Whatever it was, uh, your friend tried to get in the way. So what does this King of Pentacles have to say? <gasps> Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation third party interference. They like you and obviously your ex friend got in the way. I don't think it was ever a situation where they were together. If they were, it wasn't while you were together. Maybe they dated previously. Um, but since you and this King of Pentacles have been together, he did not, he or she did not step out on you to be with your friend. Your friend may have tried. What do you have to say? King or Queen of Swords. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. You've got such a great calm nature about you, honestly. It's very impressive. Um, all right, overall outcome for this, possibly? For you and the King of Pentacles? Oh, the two card in there. That's funny, there's a random two card sitting over there that I happen to pick up with this and it's last chance. They lost their chance. I'm thinking that's for your friend. All right, final energy or uh, possible outcome for you and the King of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Four cards. Ooh, this could be your soulmate. Um, This is gonna take some time. You're gonna move very slowly. There's gonna be a little bit of a stressful situation, I don't know why, with the um, Nine of Wands. Oh gosh, my nose is going crazy. So I do think there's going to be a little uh, drama here for a minute. But this is your two of cups. So the cards say, um, but there's going to be a little drama here that's going to kind of test you. And you're not really going to know what to do about it. How, how does it all work out though in the end? Honestly, think the drama is surrounding this friend. I think this friend isn't going to leave you alone. I think they're going to say that they've evolved and they've adapted, they've changed, but they're spying on you. Final energy to help get you through this. Sheesh. Drama City is the name of where you are. <laughs> Final energy to help you. Relationship, there's a budding relationship or friendship headed your way. Good luck with this. Ciao, ciao for now, now.